I'm Randa. I'm Tristan. And this is NAC News. Going down North Andrews, going to have myself a good time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks about temptation. Going down North Andrews, going to leave my woes behind. Ample parking day and night, people shouting howdy cardinal. Heading up North Andrews, going to see if I can't unwind. <laughs> Come on down North Andrew and meet some friends of mine. <sighs> Such a sad time this year. Mr. Archer is retiring after the end of the school year. That's so sad. But Riley and Eli have a story about it. Let's play it. Earlier this year, our high school English teacher, Miss Nancy Archer, had announced her retirement from teaching after 28 years at North Andrew. Before she taught here, though, she had taught at Marines County in Bell, Missouri for three years, then Cass County in Harrisonville, Missouri for two years. After that, she taught at South Nottaway in Barnard, Missouri for eight more years and is ending her teaching career at North Andrew. While teaching here, she has made many memories. One of her most memorable moments here is when Tamara Pittman stormed out of the school to save a person's life. Another memory of hers was when out of nowhere, her blue station wagon disappeared from the parking lot. Her life at home is filled with love for her family and for her children, Brian, Kenan, Catherine, and Brad, and her grandchildren, Willow and Reed. When not at school, Mrs. Archer loves family time, especially getting to run around more with her husband, vacationing with family and friends, and spending time with her grandchildren. Mrs. Archer offered some advice for prospective teachers. Treasure the students and everyone who is working with the students. Every department is important, but the support staff run the school and can be your greatest asset. She also mentions that teachers should always have each other's backs. Mrs. Archer's inspiration to become a teacher dates back to her senior year in high school when her high school coach told her that he thought she would be a good teacher. Mrs. Archer gave a few final thoughts as a teacher. Life is best. Freedom is best. God is best. And here's her final thought. Jean, sail, sail, sail. Several colleagues, friends, and students wanted to give their thoughts and well wishes to Mrs. Archer. Former colleague, former colleague and friend Nick White wrote, Congratulations to Miss Archer on your retirement. Having known you for around 20 years, it has been my pleasure to coach against you, work with you, and learn from you both as an academic coach and as a teacher. I admire the way you always stick to your guns because it's what's best for the students and their learning, regardless of what is being said or done in the educational landscape. I implore others to take this approach and remember that doing what is right is not always easy, but is always best. Thank you for your encouragement these years. We have worked together with our tournament and your willingness to trust me in our culinary adventures in Colombia. May, may you be able to spend your time doing what you enjoy and enjoying what you do. You will be missed. Oh, so, so Ms. Archer retiring this year, and uh, so I'll say she's a... Uh, I've been her co-coach uh, for a while, or her assistant coach for a while, uh, for Scholar Bowl, and it's just been a been a real uh, blessing to have her as a, a as a uh, head coach. She's just amazing, and just uh, all the fun times we've had uh, on uh, bus rides, just talking about everything from school to life and all kind of stuff. All the advice she's given me over the years, and just being a great example uh, as a teacher and as a coach, she'll definitely be missed. My favorite memory with Mrs. Archer is when I student taught here. It was um, the end of a bad first half of student teaching where I was willing to drop my education career for a simple English degree. However, when I got placed with Mrs. Archer, she was understanding and encouraging and she built my confidence and I believe that's what she does with all of her students. I will forever be grateful that she encouraged me to keep going with education. What has it been like working with Miss Archer? Oh, <laughs> Miss Archer's been the best co-worker. Uh, and I've worked with lots of different people over my times in different schools teaching and she's, she is absolutely the best. Oh my goodness, we've worked on curriculum several times together and she made it pleasant 
and we went to a lot of professional development meetings and that was always enjoyable with her. She always volunteered to drive to NCMC, which I really appreciate because I don't like to drive. Um, but yeah, it's just been really nice working with her. She's been very considerate. She's always shared resources and we would exchange ideas and I am really going to miss her and she's going to leave a big void at North Andrew. It's going to be hard to fill her shoes, even though she's just a little petite lady. <laughs> it will be hard to fill her shoes. But yes, uh, have a nice retirement, Miss Archer. <laughs> it's happening again. Again, we're losing more and more teachers all the time. We are? Yeah. Did you hear about Mr. Windsor? He's retiring. No, I did not. Yeah. Lily and Michaela have a story on it. Let's roll it. Mr. Ed Windsor started his career in July of 2001. He has put 28 years into teaching agriculture. He has had the privilege of teaching at his own hometown for the past 20 years. Before him, Mr. Ms. McCray taught at North Andrew for 29 years. Mr. Windsor announced to his students that he was retiring on Monday, April 20th, and that this year was going to be his last year at North Andrew. Mr. Windsor has had a lot of success being the FFA advisor and has had many success with taking teams to state for it. Mr. Windsor's most memorable moment at North Andrew was having his sons at work every day and watching them become valedictorian and salutatorian of their respective classes. Of several FFA moments from district contest teams championship, area proficiency award winners, and all of the trips we took. However, it was an honor to have the national FFA proficiency award winner in 2007 and wildlife MGMT Colton Chambers. Mr. Windsor is not sure what his plans are after retirement at this time. He said he will eventually look for a part-time job. Mr. Windsor has two sons, Justin, Justin and Brent, and so kids, so grandkids. Mr. Windsor's favorite thing to do when he's not teaching is going to farm, farm toy shows slash auctions, deer hunting, and doing stuff around the farm. When asked what would, you would tell someone who is going into teaching, Mr. Windsor stated that there's always ups and downs and time went fast. It is a good occupation. With said days and the retirement system is good. Mr. Windsor stated that his high school ag teacher, Carly McRae, and Dean Swafford, who taught at Savannah, inspired him to become a teacher. We interviewed Carson Thomas on his favorite memories of Mr. Windsor. What's your favorite memories, Mr. Windsor? Whenever I told him my truck got stolen and then seeing his face, ex facial expression. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Windsor? Oh, uh, we like... We have a lot of stuff in common. We like fishing, hunting, uh, vehicles. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Did you hear that Savannah's getting a new mascot? No. They well, are. Yeah, they are. I personally think they should be the cows. Um, they're probably gonna pick something like the eagles, let's be honest. Well, Brewer and Anna have a story about that. Let us play it. Controversy continues in Savannah, Missouri, our neighboring school district. Our friends from the South have had a divide in their community for a while over whether the Savages mascot and the imp implications of Native American imagery being referred to as Savage. Sparks of this controversy have been talked about for years, but most recently the debate was sparked over a petition with over 9,000 signatures on Change.org titled Change the Savannah R3 School School's Mascot, No More Savages Spearheaded by Amanda Barr. This controversy has been talked about by the Savannah School Board since July 2020, but had no power over the situation for it was not the agenda, not on the agenda at the time. The Savannah School Board recently held a meeting on what to do with mascot and its imagery. The final decision was to keep the savage name but phase out the Native American imagery. Many people have voiced their opinion on Facebook with t-shirts being made and sidewalks being painted with images of the old mascot and quote, supported the old mascot and preserving the town's history. The website standupsavannah.com, standupsavannah.com, against the mascot has also been prevalent with a social media presence on Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. We asked an anonymous lifelong Savannah resident about their opinion on the mascot changes. They said, well, I've had a lot of thoughts about, lots of thoughts and lots of time to think about it, and my answer is it's complicated. I think that it's subject to people who are very, subject that people are very obviously heated about, but I think about it like, where is the win in this? And where is something everybody can settle on and feel valued in? I think both sides feel very excited about it and heated about it, and it's hard when you're on the extremes to really understand and come to a middle ground. And what I think is important that we have never is that we have never we have a really cool town that really loves our kids and are really proud of them and the accomplishments that's done Savannah's done. We also have people that feel super strongly about our mascot that our mascot is offensive and we can't change those opinions. 
but we also know that people feel very strongly about the pride in it, and you can't change those opinions either. So I think our job is to figure out what works for everyone, but not everyone's going to be excited about it either. I'm Miranda. And I'm Tristan. And this is NAC News.